G'day, fellas, and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the west side of the match, we've got Kabooch. Did I say the spawning on the west side of the match? Spawning on the west side of the map. I mean, technically, I guess it's also a match. It doesn't make sense, though. We'll go with map. Spawning on the west side of the map, we've got Kapoch playing his English. Now, if you have not seen Kapoch play before, you probably haven't missed much unless you like English play because I feel like Kapoch only really plays English. It's like, I, I watched him play 3v3s, I watched him play 2v2s, I've watched him play in tournaments for like the last three months, and he only plays English. So he's going to be playing English today, and he's going to be going up against, in the opposite side of the map, Fitzy here who is playing the Holy Roman Empire and is playing in the color red. Now, I could probably say the exact same thing for Fitzy here if you haven't seen this guy before. Well, it's uh, you're not missing out on much. On uh, You're not missing out on much unless you like HRE because this guy is an absolute beast at HRE. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave links in the description to this video to both of these players because these guys are absolute beasts in their respective skill classes. So we've got Fitzy here, who is a Holy Roman Empire main. Rank 36 on the ladder at the moment. Going up against Kapoch, who is an English main. Rank 22. And these guys are vying it, vying out, fighting it out, vying. They're currently vying for a position in N4C. Nilly's Apartment Cup 4, but not really, because it's different. $100,000 tournament. This is it. This is gaming. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how else to say, but anyway, the, these guys are fighting it out. So right now, I think we're in the round of 64, I want to say. So these guys are meeting each other pretty early. And these guys are both obviously beasts. Very talented players. Uh, so we are going to have quite the game on our hands. Um, heading into this game, let's do a prediction. What do we think is going to happen? Because we're, we're, we're always going to get it wrong. But you know what they say? If you sling enough spaghetti at the wall, eventually, eventually, it doesn't matter if you sling... You know, if you sling 500 pieces of spaghetti and every single one of them falls off, if you don't sling the 501st piece, maybe it would have stuck. Maybe it would have stuck. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep slinging spaghetti at that wall until we find one that sticks. So what's my prediction for this game? Well, obviously, Kapoch playing the English. He's going to make a lot of longbows. That's prediction number one. Let's see if we can get that right. Number two, he's probably going to stay in the second age for a little bit longer than other civilizations uh, stay in the second age. So I would expect that we would see an age up between 13 minutes and 18 minutes. Fitzy, on the other hand, this bad boy is a little bit harder to predict as we do see the mine work. Hallis coming down. It is an absolute pleasure to be witnessing this right now. Now, this is something that we actually saw earlier in the day from Viper. Uh, now, Viper wasn't playing in N4C. It was just one of the games he was playing on ladder because, of course, Viper's been playing some AoE 2, but he is back now playing AoE 4. So we thought we'd check out some of his games, and he too was going for the Minework Palace. So not only are we seeing players explore in the quick match game or in the, in the, in the ladder using the Minework Palace, but we actually have... The Minework Palace in a tournament game. This is a $100,000 tournament that is going down right now. This is pretty big. I think this is going to be the first that we're seeing this. Damn, dude. This is this is pretty crazy. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about uh, what we expect to, to unfold. Now, well, you know what? I'm not even going to expect uh, or talk about what we expect. I'm going to sort of put out what I hope we're going to see. I want to see Minework Palace into the... I, I don't know what it's called, but there is a landmark that the H HRE get in the Third Age. So it's not the Regnitz Cathedral. It's the other one. I want to... I'm going to go with like the... No, it's not the... It's not the Berkshire. Oh, what's it called? Burgrave Palace. Thank you very much. Near Funa in the Twitch chat at the moment. There you go, my friend. Thank you very much for helping me out. So the Minework Palace it reduces the cost of your infantry upgrades, or in, fa in fact, all of your upgrades uh, at the blacksmith. It also acts as a blacksmith. And you can sort of combine that with the Burgrave Palace, putting them together, because you can get your upgrades for cheaper, right? And then you can use the Burgrave Palace, which acts as five barracks in one building. So it's literally like, when, when you think about it, it's a 750 wood landmark at once. Kind of crazy. Uh, so... Who knows whether we're going to see that. We'll take a look and see what we've got. Double archery range coming down for Fitzy here. So he is opening up with a an archery range play. I don't think I expected this, but I, I do suspect he's got something in store for us because obviously 
He's going up against an English player. He only plays the Holy Roman Empire, so he knows what he is up against. He knows what he's got to do to beat this guy, to try and get the better of him. So he's going to be going down that route. Now, obviously, by the same token, we see that Kapoch scouts this out. He says, oh, he's going for double archery range. Okay, well, then I'm going to go for a blacksmith. So we're not seeing a stable coming out. We're not seeing a barracks coming out. We're seeing a blacksmith coming out. So Kapoch is almost saying, well, <laughs> I've, I've played against 46 Holy Roman Empire players in the last day, mate. I know what I'm doing. And it's going to get plus one that I'm going to do. So we'll see how he plays it, whether he looks to do that as well. Fitzy going to have a range advantage. Going to have a, a damage... Dis uh, sorry. Fitzy going to have a range disadvantage, a, an attack disadvantage as well. And actually positioning his scouts very well. So one of the things to do, always position your scouts like this in the stealth forests. Very, very sneaky because the longbows that run past, they're never going to be able to see into the stealth forests anyway. Uh, and so he actually tracks these longbows. He did see them coming in. So he's going to know that uh, they are uh, under potential threat, his villagers here. And this scout is also getting spotted by Fitzy as well. Uh, he's doing his best to continue tracking these back. And we're about to see, hopefully... Oh, there's the longbows right there. And interestingly, coming through from the other angle or the other position are the archers of his opponent. So it looks like we might have a bit of Strelbora on our hands like right here. Now, for anybody want, uh, playing along at home and wondering what the hell is Strelbora, let me show you. They kind of sound like... <laughs> they sound like uh, Scandinavian. Or, or like German. Hold on. Strelboreniaru. Well, look, okay. S Strelbora means string bearer. Now, that's something I found out in a recent stream. I didn't know that up until the last stream that I did, where someone actually said, hey, Drongo, you dig it. It's actually string bearer. And, uh, and from there on in, we've just admired all string bearers, great and small. So that means our Strelbora over here on the western front, up towards this eastern front, we also admire our Strelboras. But these, these ones are German, though, so I don't. I think it's a little bit different. We'll check in with uh, with Fitzy. We'll see what he's up to. Going to be adding in the first farm of the game. Uh, nice and early. This is the first farm for him. No farms coming up just yet for Kapoch. Uh, so Fitzy going to be adding that first one in. No mills at this stage either for Fitzy. Now, he could be dropping that mill here, but he's actually going to be milling up the hunt. So he's not even thinking about professional scouts. 10 villagers coming out to here. Got to be careful. He's going to scare that away. Now, keep in mind, doesn't have the mill. So doesn't have wheelbarrow at this stage. And look at this Fitzy here coming in. and going to be able to pick off a couple of longbows. You can see just how much damage getting done to those bad boys. Looks like they're going to be able to take out two archers nice and early. So getting in some pretty decent trades right there. So not a bad effort from Fitzy here at this point in time. Uh, but for me, the, the big thing is, at, at this point, is sort of wondering about the longevity of the way that Fitzy's playing. Because my main concern is, if you continue making more and more longbows, you're going to get to the point, or sorry, more and more archers, you're going to get to the point where your opponent, who's making longbows, is going to have a much larger mass than you, and you're just never going to be able to really engage. And so you can see with this military mass right now, that Fitzy is not going to be able to engage this. So he's going to be trying his best, but... As I mentioned earlier, he is the expert when it comes to this. He's got the plus one upgrades. We'll take a look over at his opponent. We'll see what Kapoch is running behind this. Indeed, going for the plus one upgrades as well. So still yet to get that plus one defense, that plus one carapace, as they as they say, all those StarCraft 2 players. Um, but uh, does manage to get the plus one pierce armor here. Doing a great job of just microing back. And you can see he's having a pretty difficult time here of getting on top of it. Fitzy here trying his best. Let's enter into our... Um, into our cinematic, but uh, that sacred site's still going to sit there. And uh, you can see that Fitzy having a bit of a tough time here. Now going to be trying to focus down that scout. He's going to be successful. Um, but look at all the archers that are on the ground here, dead for Fitzy here. And uh, you really got to be wondering, Fitzy, like what was going through your head when you decided to do this? Uh, but surely he's going to work it out. I've got a feeling he's going to work it out, as Fitzy always does. He is a, a very strong contender. You don't get to rank 36 on the ladder unless you're a strong contender. Uh, so let's we'll take a look. We'll see exactly how he's doing. But uh, let's check in with Kapoch as he begins to add farms on his uh, or behind his town center. He's got a beautiful berry spawn back here. So I'll expect that he continues to add farms in as uh, as the day goes on. But now a couple of horsemen going to be coming out for Fitzy. 
wasn't really paying attention and as a result it means that now we've got horsemen out on the field so the battle begins to swing these horsemen yet to take any damage from these longbows but you can see they are putting out absolute damage they are doing 18 damage every single time they make a hit so 18 times 2 that's going to take you up to that beautiful uh 7 or 36 threshold and then that hits the 72 these guys have got 70 health on them so they are in absolute heaven here four shotting each of these longbows here and you can see them just continuing to clean up so fitzy doing a great job here of evening the score now on the other side i would expect that we do see a barracks getting dropped down and there goes the barracks getting dropped down now so three villagers going to be dropping that immediately and uh probably a bit more of a transition into uh spears that is what we're going to be seeing you can see the longbows trying their best to actually focus down the horsemen they do a very good job of it as well i, I, I kind of if i'm capoach i would regret not shooting these longbows uh, towards the horsemen any sooner but they do manage to take out two of the horsemen uh, and he's going to have to retreat back towards his base Fitzy still yet to really look like he's going to be doing anything other than just playing age two at this stage we'll have a look at the upgrades that he's got uh, so for the mine work palace just the plus ones on the rangers um, for the mining camp nothing the lumber camp nothing for the mill there is nothing in fact he's got two mills because he's made this second mill out here um, and then when it comes to his upgrades or his infrastructure, he's got two stables, two archery rangers, so he's not doing terribly. Uh, but uh, let's check in with Kapoch and see exactly what he is up to. Uh, so from Kapoch's perspective, no specialized pick, no double broad axe, no upgrades whatsoever from the mill either. So both players at this point in time yet to really get a lot of upgrades in. Um, and we can actually see he is going for plus one defense at this point in time. Probably a great decision as well, considering the amount of um, horsemen that are coming out. But it looks like the first spear going to be coming out onto the field here as well. Charge does get off the spear, unable to really take anything out. And now they're going to be onto that back line, doing a plenty amount of damage here. And Fitzy having an absolutely mammoth uh, time here in the early game, doing a really good job. It looks like... What was that? That looked like it was a bit bugged. It looked like he put out the spears after he died. Did you guys see that? They kind of looked like the um, the spears went down after the fact. Very, very interesting. Now those horsemen are going to continue moving out towards those longbows. And uh, behind this, Kapoch adding more and more units. You can see he's having a bit of a tough time. 37 villagers at the moment for him. 38 for Fitzy here. So these players are very, very even. But Fitzy here going to be donating a few units over on the front line. And uh, looks like going to have to be walking away with his tail between his legs. More reinforcements are out on the map. Uh, or at least heading out on the map. But uh, we're continuing just to see this two unit composition at this point in time. He is now adding a third archery range in this as well. God, that mine work. That mine work palace is so big, isn't it? Look at the size of that thing. That is a huge boy. Uh, but speaking of huge boy, I think it's time to get myself a little bit of Dr. Pepper. Give me a moment as we settle into this lull period. I'm going to enjoy a cold one. Give me a moment. What is that villager doing? Villager, what were you doing? Was he building an outpost? He, he might have been trying to build an outpost. Potentially. Um, one of the horsemen actually got, gets picked up here by the, uh, by the, what are they called? The palings? Yeah, the palings managed to pick those up, but now it looks like a bit of a fight beginning to break out towards the middle of the map again. Longbow's doing their best to try and just kite these archers on the back line at the same time avoiding death, and he's going to continue chasing him off. I really don't know why he's not focusing down these horsemen. I really feel like he could be doing it. Does actually focus down the first horseman. Second horseman now gets turned its attention to slowly but steadily actually doing it. I feel like at this point, you could probably just start massing up longbows with just like a handful of spears nearby, and you'd be absolutely fine. Uh, but we'll, we'll check in with him. We'll see how he's doing. A lot of villagers back here uh, just hanging out on wood, uh, beginning to add in more and more of those farms. So we can see he's got one, two, three farms going to be added in up outside the mill here. And uh, just just a casual little longbow hanging in around um, around the outside. We'll check back over towards Fitzy. Uh, as you can see, he does have that plus one range defense already coming in um, on, on his units at this point in time. No melee defenses just yet. He is looking to get Bloomery plus one melee attack. So it's going to help out a little bit. Now, one thing to note is that with Bloomery or with any melee upgrade, that's going to affect his primary attack, but not going to affect his bonus. So you see how he gets a plus... He's got nine spear with plus nine versus ranged. The nine range... Um, is always going to stay the same, whereas that 9 spear will go up to 10. 
Um, but uh, we'll check back in with Fitzy. We do indeed see Wheelbarrow has been completed. Uh, so our first economic upgrade of the game has come through. And these players are really trading out. And I've got to say, I love the way that the Longbows are trading so effectively into these horsemen. Uh, I think once a decent mass starts to build up for Fitzy, he's going to be in a great spot. But uh, the archer numbers for Fitzy are very, very low at this point in time. But by the same token, the spear numbers are even lower uh, coming out for his opponent, Kapoch. But now it looks like another villager going to be making its way towards the front here. Going to get chased down. I don't think this horseman is going to be too long for this world. Unfortunately, that horseman will go down. But it does look like he is attempting to extend the network of castles out. And indeed, that is what he's doing. So looking to try and get a few more villagers out onto the map into a forward position and try and place down some of those outposts. It looks like Siege Engineering has actually come through now for Kapoch. Uh, so he has got all of his upgrades except for that Bloomery in the in the second age and going to be dropping down an outpost. So this is the, the third villager that is going to be coming out and looking to drop this one down. Uh, so will this outpost actually get up? Who knows? We are about to find out though. Fitzy on the other side. Still yet to really consider aging up at this point. Uh, a lot of villagers back here on food. So he's doing absolutely fine. Still no survival techniques, despite having all the resources. At least he did have all the resources he needed for that one very easily, especially on the double on the uh, the double um, uh, the double deer patches. Definitely makes it a lot easier to stomach those sorts of uh, those sorts of, uh, of of upgrades. But um, yeah, now down towards the south, Fitzy continue po continuing to posture, marching drills yet to come through for him as well. Kaboch almost finishing that outpost now. And back towards the base of Kaboch. Does look like there is still a significant amount of villagers back here on the wood. Does actually get populate or does get population blocked up to 46. Um, villagers, 44 for Fitzy. And now it looks like the longbow is going to get taken out. He's trying his best to get in on top of these with the uh, with the horsemen. Horsemen not having a particularly good time as, as we saw earlier. And we can really see that the longbows are doing a great job of focusing down the archers. But my concern is that he is overwhelmingly focusing them down. And th the problem is that he's overkilling them significantly. He's got 23 archers here. Each one of these guys does 7 damage. So 6 when you consider the plus 1 armor. There's 70 health. So ideally, if he had 12 archers, he would be able to one-shot. And he's got 25. And he's one-shotting. Or he's using all of them to focus. So he could split this group into two and still be able to kill archers. So he could kill two at the same time. So something always important to consider. Outpost up towards the north does get cancelled down. Capoach trying to do a little bit of a cheeky one, not having a lot of success. We continue to see more and more um, horsemen coming out. It really seems like there's not enough horsemen out on the field, though. Archer's now going to continue being pulled back, or forced back here by the Longbows. Longbow is actually in a pretty decent spot. They do spot out the villagers here. If he wants to, he can definitely push this position. Uh, main concern is that he doesn't have an outpost nearby. Not going to be able to provide that all-important uh, upgrade, that network of castles. But now it looks like he continues to head back towards this tree line, doing a great job. Not actually dropping his setup camp. I don't think he's actually got it yet. We hear a spear going to be taking out uh, a couple of horsemen in the front line. And now that uh, that spear does get taken out. But look at the numbers here that are coming out for Fitzy here. It's look, starting to look more healthy for him. Ideally, you want to start getting up to those double-digit numbers. That's where it's going to start to get really, really hard for Kapoch without a huge mass of spears. Donating over a couple more horsemen there, unfortunately. But uh, Fitzy going to be trying his best to keep his head above water. We're going to switch it over to Income Per Minute. I know that you guys love to look at Income Per Minute. Um, so we'll get that out for you. What, what do I even call you guys? You fiends? You freaks? You freaks love to watch the Income Per Minute. I don't know. They're just supposed to be people sitting there like, yes, collect the wood. Yes, all of the wood. That, that's how I imagine you guys wanting to see the Income Per Minute. But yeah, as you can see, it's relatively even at this point. What Kapok... Uh, lacks in income per minute on wood. He makes up for in gold. Yes, give us the wood. Give us the wood, Drongo. Yes, yes. Fitzy now going to continue pushing in uh, towards Kapoch. Going to have a lot of success here uh, if he does actually commit. My main... Honestly, I, I would love him just to drop down two more stables. Just drop down two more stables, make two rounds of spears, and you're going to be absolutely fine. And take a look at this. Fitzy actually moving towards the edge of the map here, having a little bit of trouble uh, with his wood sources, obviously towards the front of the base, which is where the majority of his wood is. Um, he's, he's got an enemy uh, that is continuing to attack and take a look at this up towards the north. Looks like 
Two villagers almost dying, but managing to survive. Eight villagers in total, but now back towards the fight, down towards the south. The new horsemen looking incredibly strong. Spears getting microed out. The archer numbers are looking very healthy here for Fitzy. He's going to be able to continue re-engaging those archers, moving forward and looking to snipe down those spears, doing a great job there. He's got a huge mass, and I think this might actually be a nice little win here for Fitzy. We can see that Kapoch still continues to focus down the back line, but really he should be focusing on this front line because the amount of damage that these guys are doing is absolute insanity. Archers continuing to focus down spears. Slowly but steadily, these spears are running in, but now finally it looks like Fitzy's going to be able to get in on top of him. There are a lot of units here doing their stabby stabby, doing that good stuff, and he's going to be able to head back towards that stealth forest. Let's see if he's going to be able to keep any of these spears or any of these longbows alive. This is an absolutely great fight for Fitzy here, and he is looking incredibly strong as we head into the mid-game now. 20 minutes through this game, no sign of either player looking to age up. Less than 100 resources here uh, for Fitzy here in the bank. On the other hand, Kapoch still with, a, with plenty of resources to go, and it looks like Fitzy is actually going to get repelled and an outpost going to get dropped as well. So Kapoch managing to, uh, to make a lot of use out of the units that he's got on the board here, and uh, still somehow manages to hold on. Oof. That was a tough, tough fight right there. Kapoch now once again setting himself up. He's got more spears coming in. Um, my main concern is that the, the spear numbers are probably a little bit too high. We're going to watch Kapoch as he continues to single out these archers. The archers, unfortunately, unable to connect with the hardened spearmen. And he's just continuing to focus them down. A lot of, uh, a lot of horsemen on the front line here. It looks like Kapoch probably overplaying his hand a little bit too much here. And uh, we're going to go tune in with the back line and see exactly what's going on. Because I tell you what, that is an absolute that is an absolute fight down there. That is for sure. Uh, looks like the wood line going to get added in here for Fitzy. So he's not feeling too bad about it. Six farms so far. He's got this boar up towards the north. Still pushing it, still pushing the agenda up towards the front. And having a pretty decent time out of it as well. So we, we can see that the horse archers... Or the horse archers, the horsemen... Um, managing to get outnumbered rather quite heavily by those spears, but finding a lot of villagers here in the stealth forest. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys just turned around and started firing. They, they do so much damn damage. You've got to be really careful of those those uh, villagers when they all build up on top of them. But uh, now it looks like Fitzy going to probably be realizing that, going to be falling back and uh, allowing his opponent just a little bit of room to breathe, giving me a little bit of a, a chance to breathe here as well. And uh, we'll, we'll check in with Fitzy, see exactly how he's doing on the economy. So we mentioned the boar earlier. He's actually up on the berries uh, here as well. Looks like he's exhausted almost all of his food that he's got. Obviously, the hunt down here is gone. Hunt up towards the north. It looks like only two uh, of these deer carcasses remain. Now actually going to be moving villagers up towards the wood camp or the lumber camp up towards here in this northern position. Got to be careful of this wolf. I'm going to switch over so I don't have to hear it. There it goes, leashing onto those villagers. Uh, Going to be doing his animation cancelling that he does best. Unfortunately, getting stabbed. And a new age does begin 22 and a half minutes into the game. And Kapoch has clicked up to the next age. King's Palace has been the way that he has gone. So a great decision there from him. And now that villager number is going to begin to skyrocket. 60 villagers for Kapoch. 59 for Fitzy. This is where we start to see the two players go their separate ways. Fitzy, on the other hand, yet to gather up enough gold to be able to age up. Probably going to be looking for a Regnitz play. I really wouldn't be surprised to see a Regnitz Cathedral play at this point in the game. Just because the English play are highly unlikely that they're going to be looking to contest these relics. You've got a very safe relic down towards the south of your base. Another safe relic towards the south of the map. And another safe relic up towards the north. There is one in the middle, which uh, you're definitely going to have to fight for. And definitely one out towards the west that you'll have to fight for as well. Uh, but uh, for the most part, I think you've got a pretty safe three relic collection there. Definitely thinking about aging up. You can see carrying... Or trying, trying his best to get as many resources as he can at this point. Kapoch up about 500 score, about 400 score now. Um, and looks like Sacred Sight's going to be the name of the game, or at least players moving in this direction of the Sacred Sight. Uh, I don't think we've got any religious units out just yet for Kapoch. Archers up in the north side and a little bit of a raid coming in as well. Kapoch got to pay attention right here. Village is going to be going down. He manages to get five inside of the outpost. Not going to have a whole lot of luck. And now we got that English out, that English town center showing the beautiful bonus that it gets where it gets to fire off all those arrows so damn fast. Looking like a shotgun out here. And at the same time, in the base of Fitzy, we have got ourselves a push going up to the third age. Eight villagers tapping away at that Regnitz Cathedral. Let's see if we can find it up towards the north. Cheers. That is an interesting spot. He does have the relic right next door, so that's a good sign. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, my main concern is if that gets found, that's going to get targeted very quickly with a few battering rams, and that's going to be all she wrote for that bad boy. Uh, but, uh, Regnitz is going up. Nice little raid back here for Fitzy, and managing to kill villagers. We'll take a look at the village account at the moment. Capoach on 57, Fitzy on 62, so pulling ahead by about five. It's going to take at least another two minutes before he's able to manage to get up onto parity with that one. We're going to continue to watch as these units begin posturing around the outside of the base. Not finding a whole lot out here, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that cathedral's in a very, very curious position, and it's going up very slowly. Normally, you would see about double the amount of villagers on this, and that's only when you've got about half the amount of villagers as well. So yeah, it's going to take its time. It's going to take its sweet damn time to get up. New Age has begun. Let's see if we spot some prelates up in this in this area looking to pick up some uh, some some of those relics. Archers now having a bit of a tough time. These are veteran longbows as well. And a lot of horsemen get running in here, looking for a beautiful surround on these longbows, doing a great job as well. And don't you just love the Holy Roman Empire? The way that their horsemen look really looks so amazing. I love the, the design here on the coats, the way that they hang over on the edge. The beautiful emblem on the side as the, <laughs> the horse does go down. He manages to actually secure up this attack. And it's a pretty decent trade for Kapoch. I'm sure he's actually going to be quite happy with that. I think that was that was a pretty decent trade for him. But uh, now another attack on the front line. 56 for, uh, villagers for Fitzy. 60 villagers for Kapoch. He's managed to pull it back up to parity. And we hear that wolf going off. I think it's up towards the north. We had a, a wolf a little bit earlier in the game. But now it looks like the wolf has continued to rise. A few spears coming out. And actually does repel Fitzy from this position. There is an outpost here to be able to protect this wood line, but unfortunately, not a lot of villagers on it for him. And uh, still yet to see any real transition away from the longbow at this point. Just really just kicking it with uh, with full longbow and just a, a few, just a handful of spears. No veterancy upgrade just yet for those spears. And now those villagers... Oh my lord, that's a lot of villagers. Uh, that is two spears. 31 villagers. So, what was it? 33? Because I think a couple went down. But uh, now it looks like on the front line, Kapoch going to be able to clean up this... Uh, this, Or rather, Fitzy going to be able to clean this up. And over... Like, uh, one of the, the main trends that I'm seeing is Fitzy seems to be making better trades. At least... Uh, uh, early on, it was definitely Kapoch that was making the better trades. But now it feels like Fitzy is making better trades. He had a really nice cleanup up towards the north of his base. Another nice clean up down towards the south that eventually pushed over towards the base of his opponent. Um, but, uh, I mean, at, at this point in the game, the longbows are just looking incredibly strong. Uh, we've got a plus two upgrade that's come through for them. Uh, now looking to get plus two defense as well. The, that re wedge rivets and... Oh, no. Oh, no. The prelate. Why is he going so slow? You got to speed up, friend. That was not the right way to go, my friend. Unfortunately, that prelate losing his life uh, for the greater good. And uh, Fitzy here, you're about to lose four villagers here as well. So unfortunate for him. And uh, now going to be able to chase away up towards the north here. A, uh, a, a single lone spearman as the first knight of the game begins to make its way out onto the field. A lot of longbows down here. A lot of spears as well. How many? We've got one relic in that regnitz at the moment. So I don't think Kaboch knows where the regnitz is at this point in time. You can see from his perspective, he doesn't really have a lot of line of sight up towards that northern area. Uh, but it does look like he is moving out there and Kapoch still under attack over here. I wonder if he can't hear this. Maybe he's playing with the sound turned off. Is that a possibility? I don't think so. I don't think so. He just murdered that wolf almost immediately. But uh, it looks like Kapoch going to be able to spot out this little force of raiders down towards the south. You can see how much damage he does just splitting those units up into groups and still being able to just focus them down so insanely well. But so many archers coming out now for Kapoch. Look at the numbers that are out here on the field. 37 archers. Do we potentially see some mangonels coming out for Fitzy? That is what I would love to see at this point in the game. We are 20 minutes, 28 minutes into this game. I'm looking for it. I still don't see it. Oh, never mind. I saw it. I seen it. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Kapoch yet to see it as well. A couple spears going to be moving in. They are going to spot this one out, and they're probably going to realize now the immediate response to this should be one's own siege workshop. That, that should be the immediate response. Also changing the allocations, getting a few more villagers over onto wood and onto gold. It's really going to help out just 
building those extra sprinkles because you never know how many mangadels are going to be coming out of this bad boy. And you can see these longbows running for their lives against the plus two armor of the knights. They're going to turn around. Let's see if they're able to focus these bad boys down. It looks like they barely scratched the surface. Oh, it's not bad, actually. Actually, the damage that they do, but the mangonel, the mangonel, the mangonel doesn't actually get a shot off. If that mangonel gets a shot off, this could be the end of the game right there. Fitzy looking incredibly strong at this point in time. 400 score difference now. Kapoch beginning to pull ahead. Villager lead of 73 for Kapoch versus the 58 for Fitzy. So despite him being a uh, behind on the military front, definitely ahead on the economic front. The big thing for Fitzy, obviously, he's got the Regnitz Cathedral. So he needs to try and look to get up to the fourth age so he can get convert that into a Palace of Swabia. Often when I talk about the HRE, I talk about hitting their four ex or com their four exodia combo their exodia the four combo i don't even know how to say it the four legs of exodia you've got the three relics well technically the three there's three legs of exodia the three relics in the regnets and the palace of swabia is like the main part of it don't ask me about the third leg though it's look they're, they're all equal size that's all you need to know but uh, speaking of needing to know, Kapoch definitely entering into a forest on a need-to-know basis and uh, failing to realize that he had made a grave mistake on his, intelli on his intelligence judgment. A lot of spears coming in. Veteran spearman upgrade has come through. Veteran longbow. Mangonel shot's going to be coming off. Managing to dodge that Mangonel shot, doing a pretty decent job right there. Uh, but at this point in time, I, I definitely feel like if one player was going to win this, it, it, it is, in my opinion, going to be Kapoch just simply because he's got that higher villager number. Of course, at the moment, he's got a mangonel that he's got to deal with, and that's definitely difficult. But as long as he's able to get a sprinkled out and counter this, he's going to be absolutely fine. Huge numbers now beginning to build up as well for that infantry mass. And it looks like that mangonel going to be going down. You can see that beautiful split that happens. First mangonel of the game does go down. There's a second mangonel back here. Does get off the shot. Lands on his own longbows. Doesn't have a lot of luck with it. Trying to put up an outpost now in this stealth forest. Let's have a look and see what it's going to actually uncover. There you go, revealing all the uh, line of sight around it. And up towards the north, we've got a, a single wolf. Um, but it uh, looks like all three relics have now been put inside the Regnitz Cathedral. So Regnitz is going to be a very happy camper at this point in time. And uh, yeah, Kapoch looking very strong. So he's scaling very well. So he's on 85 villagers at the moment. Compare that to 61 of his opponent. So how many villagers... It takes, hold on, if it takes 16 seconds, hold on, let me do some quick math. It takes 15 seconds to collect 10 gold. So that means in 40 seconds, or sorry, in, in one minute, it takes, you receive 40 gold. So a Regnitz Cathedral does 23 villages of gold. Am I doing that right? I think about, about 22 and a half. And that's infinite gold. And that's forever. And that's like, that's unraidable. That's, you know, gold that is always going to be in your back pocket. It's gold that's going to continue coming in after all the gold mines are gone. But at the end of the day, it's 22 and a half. So we're talking about, you know, 84 villagers here versus 91. It's pretty bloody close. Manganel shots continuing to come off. We're going to need to see some Springwoods out from Kapoch. Unfortunately, it looks like a Wallalog going to be coming down. Beautiful timing here as well. Going to be looking, and it looks like a Meta Arm Switch going to be coming in here as well. Veteran Arch is going to continue trying to push up. Manganel Micro looking incredibly good. And now it looks like we've got some Knights out on the front line as well. We'll enter into the cinematic mode as we begin to watch the Manganels fire upon the front line. Taking out both Spears, Meta Arms with them. And now the Manganels continue to firing off, trying their best to protect. Mana Arms, unfortunately, all going to be going down now. And uh, it looks like it just... Oh, no. Oh, no. The boar's in on the action. Somebody stop him. It's Stampy. It's Timon and Pumba. Wait, wait which one is it? Pumba. When I was a young warthog. And now he's back. He, he, he is... I, I, we need to sing. We, we need to sing. We need to sing. Like something to do with Timon and Pumba. I'm trying to think of what we've got. Oh, I, I know. Akuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Akuna Matata. I don't know what the words are. I, I'm going to have to look them up after this game. That's for sure. Ain't no bad in phrase. 
Oh man, I really want to sing it now, dude. Come on, if if we see the the huntable boar getting aggroed, I'll I'll sing it. We're gonna get it. You'll get it. You will get it. I promise you. The men at arms now coming in. It looks like Capoch doing a men at arms switch, taking Fitzy by surprise. I don't think he was expecting this. It means no surprises. Um, but unfortunately, he does look quite surprised at this point. You can see the men at arms absolutely on top of these uh, veteran archers. They continue to fall back. A few crossbows now going to be coming out with their golden their golden leggings. Uh, not a lot of luck, unfortunately. But uh, the mangonels have all gone down at this point. The huntable boar still down here, trying his best to hold on. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like Kapoch going to continue pushing in. We'll take a look at the villager difference. We've got 100 villagers versus 66 plus the 22.5. Only about a 12 villager difference at this point in time. Sacred sites have actually have technically gone over. And now we've got a little bit of forward farming here from Fitzy up here on the first front. But now on the back line, the archers or the longbowmen just continuing to fire off the Strel Boar and having an absolutely beautiful time. And now we've actually got an outpost with a relic inside it um, just doing its thing because, you know, why not? It's it's I mean, it's a it's an outpost with a relic. So it, it increases. So one of the things to note is if you put your relic in an outpost, you don't have to spend all those extra resources that you would have had to on a monastery. But speaking of extra resources, it looks like a keep does want to go up here in the base of Fitzy here. He's going to try and push out his opponent at this point in time. Not having a whole lot of luck. This man at arm switch has definitely taken his opponent by surprise. Capoch looking very, very strong as he continues to clean up these knights on the front line. And these archers trying their best. You can see them just microing, microing, shooting and scooting as he gets across, getting across. But Kaboch just looking incredibly strong. Um, ideally, Fitzy needs to try and get up to that fourth age and needed to get up to that fourth age a lot sooner. Try and get towards those elite knights. Try and get towards that palace of Swabia. And that really would have helped him out a huge amount. But now finally, more men at arms going to be coming out for Fitzy. But unfortunately, I feel like it's a little bit too late as he gets con completely overwhelmed here. He's got the castle, the keep that's down here, but uh, unfortunately it just doesn't seem to be able to do too much. We'll check back in on that boar. Where's that boar? Oh, it's down here. Don't worry. Hakuna Matata, don't worry. But uh, now it looks like we've got a little bit of a trouble situation here for Fitzy because he has got units in his resource lines. And that's really not what you want. Um, we'll check in on Fitzy. We'll see how he's doing. Uh, you can see that he's still got plus two upgrades yet to go. Does have the heavy maces upgrade. Uh, so technically, his, his, um, his men at arms should be better than his opponents. But keep in mind, he does have armor chad. Uh, and that's really going to set him apart when it comes to both the women and the battlefield. Um, and yeah, uh, it's a really difficult upgrade to overcome. Especially when you're going up against archers like that. Uh, or especially for archers going up against the men at arms, I should say. But now it looks like we've got some Lance Skinnex coming out. Uh, they're going to be able to clean up these units very effectively. So we'll have to wait and see how they manage to do. Uh, but do note that these guys are light melee infantry. And I'm pretty sure that longbows actually counter light melee infantry. They do. Uh, so longbows do counter the Lance Skinnex. Forward castle coming in from Fitzy here. Okay, this is nice. I like this play. This is a good little outside the box thing, Um, But now up towards the north of the base, it looks like knights. the knights go in one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. You can see one on the ground, two on the ground, three on the ground. We only ever saw one fighting, and then we saw a second one fighting by itself. So not a lot of luck there, but Fitzy here continuing to try and hold on at the back here. Look, sounds like a relic did get picked up somewhere. I think I heard something in here somewhere. I don't know where I know that from. I just know it's a bit of a meme somewhere. Uh, but Men at Arms going to be able to try and take these bad boys out. Manganel going to be coming in. Let's do a little bit of a stock take just to see where we're at. 56 villagers for Fitzy, 14 military population. Versus 118 population for Kapoch and 54 military population. All right. I'm pretty happy at this point to say this game's over. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like at this point in the game, it is, it is so incredibly difficult for Fitzy to come back. He's doing, like, he is doing a lot. He's got a lot going on, like, Fitzy here has got it going on. But it's not enough. And he goes down. It, it's, it's just not enough. There's, like, there, there are keeps in just the most random parts of this map as well. Like, you got a keep over here on this gold, which is a very good keep. Um, and then, like, but why is it there? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why have you, why does the English 
have a keep on the gold mine that's on over there when they don't have one here. They don't have one here. He scouted that out too. Like, was it just, I guess maybe he just had villagers in the area? Maybe that's what it was. Back towards the middle though. It looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a fight on the hand. Apologies for missing that one earlier. But uh, Fitzy continuing to struggle with the population, sitting at only at uh, 71 at the moment. 44 economic population, 27 military population. Not a whole lot. Four villagers sitting inside, waiting it out, hoping that the men at arms are just going to forget about them. But uh, I fear for them. I fear for them greatly. Villagers now coming outside, trying to do a little bit of a healer route. Not having a whole lot of luck. And uh, more and more line of sight getting put in here for Fitzy or for uh, Kapoch. And look at these raids that continue coming for Kapoch. He's just so annoying, so smart with this. Always harassing, always looking for those villagers. Looks like a little bit of long range, a uh, little bit of long range um, mining was coming in. Cleanup going to be happening now. And it looks like Fitzy does tap out after a 40 minute marathon of a game. Fitzy here says he has had enough of this place. He wants to become Fitzy there and resigns. Fellas, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to leave a link in the description over towards Fitzy's page. Make sure you go check him out. Once again, this has been a part of N4C, uh, which is Nilly's Apartment Cup number four, but it's not really. It's kind of like just N4C. It's just, it's an AOE4 AOE thing. It's an AOE4 thing. It's a big tournament. It's happening in Germany. It's going to be a live event uh, offline. And I'm going to be casting it. So make sure that you check that one out when it's happening. It's going to be happening in March this year. Uh, so there's going to be plenty of games on this channel for, for that event. And uh, and plenty of games just on all the other channels. But you can see the village account here. Have a look at the military account and how close it was throughout these games. It was only at this last fight when the men at arms came in. That was it, baby. That was it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.